Hey, people, it's Darth Wamp here, and welcome to episode 12 of Phoenix Race Story Trials and Tribulations. Last time, we started our investigation of, of basically the murder of KB Security CEO came board. We basically went to Lori Taylor, we talked to Adrian, we basically went to Ryan's apartment, talked to Desi, learned the location of the place. All the while, I was dealing with a nosebleed, the a nosebleed which was not stopping, things were horrible. Fun fact, this is actually the second nosebleed that I've ever had on this while recording. The first one happened during my third Let's Play of Overlord Raising Hell, and it returned, sure enough, during nosebleed season for me, so... Anyways, let's get going and... Oh, come on. Okay, good, good. Let's get going. Okay. Let's examine... We can exa First thing we need is examine this book. Check out this big, thick binder here. Leave the hell out of your me, Nick! Ring of Father isn't, exa isn't exactly back-breaking work. Just a little hard on the eyes. Oh, by the way, if I sound a little nasally during this episode, if I sound nasally at any point, that's because my nose is bleeding again, and I'm using a tissue to make sure I'm not splattering blood everywhere. Ah! What'd you find out, Nick? This file. It's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This huge file is all about Master to Mask. It's filled with info on him. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Hey, Nick! Look at the last page! It's it's a list. Let's see. Tier of Aminon, $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Master Art of Mask sold. So that hundred thousand dollars is the value of the stolen item? I don't know. That number sounds a bit low to me. I think I better secretly make a copy of this list. Kane's list add to the court record. Okay, here's the safe. Wow, this safe is unbelievable! I bet I bet four pearls would fit in there. Yes, Phoenix bringing pearls as a unit of measurement again. And it's got a bunch of doohickeys attached to it! It's pretty amazing, alright. Motion sensors, art sensors, weight sensors. Hey Nick, come on! Let's open it and take a look! If I broke into one of these, wouldn't that set me down the path to Hoodlumville? <laughs> this rope! You think it fell out of the safe when it was opened? I don't think so. So you mean? Yeah, I think this string shows where and how the course was lying. You mean? The, the victim? He was killed by being crushed by the safe door? She, she can't be serious, can she? Maya and a big red button! We're doing this! Oh, there's a button here, let's see! Hey, cut it out! Don't press that! Ha ha ha! That was really funny! I never knew that I could come to a jump like that! Where's that button anyways? It's an emergency buzzer! It says it right there on the panel! Oops, you're right! It ran right there! Nick, how many times have I told you not to read the How many times have I told you, I told you to read the instructions for us? This alarm's getting to the basement guard room. It's used to summon security up here. Really? Then it's possible on the night of the crime. Oh, says so when the CEO is attacked. Do you think that maybe he protect, he pressed the buzzer? Yeah, I thought about that. So I asked to have him down there. But they said the buzzer never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way. Just so you know. Hmm, I think we better go and talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. Oh, Phoenix, you know who the guard is. And you're not gonna like who it is. This must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out. Just for a second. Ooh, nice. I feel like this, like a CEO. Hey, you! Wake me up a cup of some really expensive import tea and some scones! Move it! Ah, this is the life! Um, the victim's out in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. Eek! He's looking like some kind of bookshelf rolling cabinet hybrid. Mmm, I can't get between the two shelves! Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one job at a time, huh? Looks like they're filled with bunches of files. Yeah, files filled with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. It'd be a good night's nice read if you got insomnia. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. Like you have both of them. Wait, was that Phoenix's voice? I'm sorry. If you have insomnia or something. Okay, what is wrong with me? Painting! Wow, look at that huge face photo! 
Tall mountains rising majestically against a dark and cloudy sky. It's a diamond at the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. This is it. This is it. This was his best sunrise. Either this guy didn't get high enough, or he had really lot rotten luck with the weather. Maybe we lived a little longer. He was in some bad days. Yes, the tragedy of Cane Board. Detective Gumdrop, tell us about what you know about the murder. Um, okay. But the thing is, I'm really not supposed to. Hey, come on. What about we put our heart to our work? Things don't really work against us right now. We need help. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't start crying on me, okay, pal? Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. The victim's name is Kane Board. He was CEO of KB Security, a pretty big fella in his own right. Like you're one to talk, Gumshoe? His corpse was discovered at 9 o'clock this morning. His estimate time of death was 1 in the morning on October 12th. Cause death was one for a charm in the head. Why are you not in this room? It happened at exactly the same time that Master of Mask was stealing the urn, huh? So why did it take almost the entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Boy, that's why he was stashed away inside the safe. Safe? Well, it is pretty big. Nobody had heard from him, and when they opened the safe this morning, oh, he came! Oh, so the light fell out. That white string must be the shape from where he fell out. I think we still need some more information on Mr. Fort Millard. Maybe you could start by getting his, the man's name right. At me! So, um, we have to match up the mask. He's after the detention that screaming like a madman. His mask gave me again! He keeps yelling. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyways, right? Oh, you mean that detective at me? Ho, 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 Oh, that was great. That guy got what he deserved. Ho, ho, ho. I brutally abused him during our, investigate, during our interrogations. I covered the camera with a sock. Now they have to detect him I know and love. Think about it. Amy was always around when the calling card showed up. But he always seriously disappeared when the their ties took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. Ha, huh, yeah, right. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was the thief. That would explain how he was able to retrieve the stolen item he keeps bragging about. Yeah, he just did that to make himself look like a great detective. That's all. But there's one thing I can't forget about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah, the TF Aminon case. There was a witness on that one. A witness? Yeah, I sent the newspaper clipping. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. Hey, hey, just got here! Haven't I seen him somewhere before? It's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it... Yes, that's Ron! Ooh, that prosecutor! I really don't like that guy! The way you don't ever to do that to Mr. Delight! Yeah, I think he did it just because he knew it, it hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyways. Now, who is this Java-addicted master maniac anyways? Prosecutor Goto, he's quite the enigma, huh? The thing is, well, I never even heard of this guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. That's right, he said this was his first case as a prosecutor. And it's true, according to the records, anyways. But, no way he's an amateur. He's an ice man in court. A maverick that gives me goosebumps. But he's not Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, he can raise the dead. He can walk a wall. He can fly. Mr. Edgeworth can do it all. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if go this Goto guy, he was some some creation, Mr. Edgeworth. Goosebumps, you? Yeah, I knew something was all about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Poor Detective Gumshoe, I had no idea you were so unpopular. Oh, uh, no, that's not what I meant. That Goto guy acts like he knows me and has a grudge against me. I get the feeling he's hiding some kind of dark secret. Okay. Do I have to present you? This was his first heist, and I guess I underestimated him. I was sure I was sure I was gonna get him, so I was careless and lost the info on the witness. By witness, do you mean the guy in this photo? Yeah! He and the detective worked together to try to catch mask try to catch a mask out of mask! But he got away anyways, huh? That god! I got the weird feeling that I've seen him somewhere lately. Detective Gumshoe, about this right here. 
Sorry, it's hard to believe, but there's a limit to how much my brain can hold. I got two ears and two eyes, but I only got one brain. I can see your eyes and ears, but the jury's still out on the brain thing. Hey, Nick, if you're so dead, just come and do it. I'm talking about this. Huh? What's that? Hey, wait a minute, Maya. What's wrong? Copy that day without permission. Don't show it to him. We have to have our forgeries, Maya. You might get mad at us. So, what are you two whispering about? Uh, oh, it's nothing. It's just my billfold. That's a pretty thick billfold you got there, pal. Now I really want you to show it to me. Can we present Larry? Okay. To be honest, my head feels like it's all full, it's gonna burst! Note to self, keep hair away from Gumshoe's head! Okay. Hey, Dad Gumshoe! Tell us more about Mr. Shane Bill Bluebard! That's Kane Bullard, not Shane Bluebard, pal! Oh yeah! The victim in this case it doesn't make much of an impression on me! Well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyways, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick. Now it's our turn to get more information about the victim. So hurry up and ask. Yes, sure enough. You have to present Col Crane's... Eh, Crane's, pro Crane's profile. I was about to say Crane. We're not up until that point. We still have two games. We still have a full game before we get to that game. Can you tell us, tell us some more about Mr. Bullard? He was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyways? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullard must have had a chance on a lot of, a lot of secrets doing this kind of work. Oh, and? And I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a, of a money grubber. Me, me, me too, I just love money, I can never get enough! I had to have it to fool my bug on two samurai addictions! Please stop leaning in towards me like that. You aren't getting to my wallet. Maya's already gone to your wallet, Phoenix. There's nothing left to get because Maya's gotten it all. Anyways, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff down his millions. Oh, you dad, my bomb! I think I need to be shiftier! Let me go already! Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets with rival companies. Ooh, that's me dirty on the hand in. Yeah, oh, KB Security used to head security operations against Master of the Mask. What, really? Yeah, and now after screwed up so many times, the company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bored who sent Ron to Ron the Blackmailer, huh? Need to present the Blackmailer to present it. About this blackmail letter. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it too, pal. Why would Game Boy have been blackmailing Ron Delay anyways? Well, Mr. Delay used to work at KB Security, right? But that, but what was it that made him quit? Nick, that's it. Maybe that's the same reason he's being blackmailed. Well, I'm in the middle of investigating that right now. Oh, all right. Okay, let's move out. Security room. Larry and his jacket. KB Security Office. Wow, this is really something else. But the security guard office doesn't have to feel very secure. KB Security Guard. Uh oh, I just remembered. Larry might be. Hey, Nick, what's up? Ugh, so he is here. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too. Hi, Larry. Here yeah, I was working my fingers to the bone! And in walks an angel! I've got no problem with a daytime date! It's all good! No, that's not what we're here for. We're investigating the board murder case. Huh? Oh yeah! That's right! You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you! Really? What is it? Hmm. Well, I don't mind sharing with my, with my sweet little Maya. But Nick here is a different story! But Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies! That was then, this is now! 
Larry, what about bros before hoes? Don't you know the bro code, Larry? Do you not know the bro code? Hey, Larry, that's your jacket, isn't it? That's right! Um, did you know you hung your mind up with some kind of lever? Yeah, sure! I was told to never, ever touch that lever! She's scowling huffed at me! Something terrible happened if you do! God, Greenhorn! So why do you, so why you hang up your jacket on such an important level? Because it got me curious! If the jacket's weight pulls the lever down, that's what they call an accident! Doesn't that suspense just kill you? Don't you just want to know what happened, huh? It's true! It's kidding me too! What about you, Nick? Yeah, but for a different reason. I'm trying to check out the chip bag. Those screens show what's going on all over the building! Everywhere! And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them! All of them! I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch it? Can you watch regular TV on the two? If anyone would sit there and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. Hey, Maya! I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on the... And how do you know that, Larry? Because that was my first bit of investigation, if you know what I mean. I was gonna get all the newbie channels, Nick! I was gonna feel so... I was gonna watch all of them! Beach volleyball, mud wrestling, you name it! Hey, two TVs got my back! Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if Tate Roger Rutins, all of his company, is based on Larry. Larry was the basis behind Take 2 TV. Larry has stock in Take 2 TV. He has like 60% stock. No, 40% stock. I know what you're thinking. It was a professional investigation, right? That's my partner seat. Your partner? Well, that's what I call her. She's my super superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. Yeah, you're probably piecing together just who Larry's superior is, and it is old bag. Uh, there's a teeth spill all over that machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. It still works fine, more or less. They really know how to build them, I guess. Wow, take a look at these things here! Hey, hey, Larry, what are they? Hmm... Did you say, hmm? Hey, man, it's not like I have to know what they are to do my job. I... I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Oh, boy! How did this guy ever get a job here anyways? Larry. Larry's how. Something to on this poster of my print. I'm going to five commandments! Wow, this sounds serious! Let's see what it says. Number one, obey thy superior. Number two, respect thy superior. Number three, spot thy superior. Number four, seduce thy superior. Five, five, don't for thy superior on command. And that Wendy Horback head to provide. She's the only, she's one tough bird, let me tell you. Cross her and you come face to face with her real genuine ray gun. Yes, Horback still has that. Yes, yeah, sounds super scary, all right. Well, fortunately, she's on vacation. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. Old bag's vacation. She's just stalking the world for Edgeworth. Edgeworth, he's on the run. This is why Edgeworth is in prosecute. Right, right. I have no prosecute in this case. Old bag is after me. I, I could have sworn she was on the plane. Literally, like, I could just imagine, like, you know that scene at Twilight Zone where they have that little gremlin thing on the wing of the plane? Just, it's stormy. Edgeworth looks out, he sees Old bag on the wing of the plane. Just, just giving him a sultry grin, just looking in. Ah! And then she just disappears a bolt of lightning. <laughs> let's talk, let's talk, let's go. Good info. So, what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard, I'm a pro. I can't just give away information for free. He wants a bribe? I thought professionals were more, I don't know, honest? Can you talk to him, Maya? Yeah, he cares already, what's the good info? Hey, I like that, this kid's got some claws. Meow. Okay, you really want to know? Yeah, yeah, do tell me! Okay, so the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I look into his background. Follow me? Yeah, you're a pro, I follow you, go on! Well, one year ago, Ron Delight got fired. And there was no warning at all, it just sort of happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that it was pretty awful. I guess you might have done that yet. Bad that got fired like that. 
Like, maybe skipping out of work to go pick up... Like, maybe skipping out of work to go pick up some hot chicks or something. No, that's just you. Sorry, for a second I thought that was Phoenix or it was a typo. So what is it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me. I get by alright, I guess. First, I have to keep my eye on those monitors. All the time. Monitors! There are security cameras set up in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are going to fall out. Ah! And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? The security teams for this company. They're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur either, so it's some so if it's something small, I don't usually bother calling them. So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. Hi the cry. You were in this office when the merge took place, weren't you? Wh why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb! Even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me! That's a fair, Nick! Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility! Anyways, the point is, you were here that night, right? Oh no, I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. Well, it, like I always say, that was then, this is now, okay? It looks like I'm going to have to break his psych locks after all. Okay. The night of the crime. On the night of the crime... Were, were you working hard like you were supposed to? What? Huh? Uh, of course I was! Why wouldn't I have been? But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Mr. Delight? Ah, but, but that was that, and this is this! Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night to... Never! I never sneak out! I tell you that! Tell you what! I'll even bet you a dollar! A dollar? Wow! Now that's confidence! What's with that drenched in the rain puppy look, puppy look on your face? Do you have any evidence that I love my position or you just point my chain? The evidence that Larry was not manning his station when the murder happened is? Where's the wallet? Ah, here's the wallet. Yeah, okay. This is the key card to the CEO's office, right? Yeah, that's right. This key card was found inside a wallet. This wallet. You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. Liar! You hand-delivered this wallet to Mr. Light just yesterday. Give me a break. You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. What What time was it when you found this wallet? I guess it was around 1 o'clock in the morning on the first floor of our company building. 1 o'clock in the morning. That's one o'clock in the morning? That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. Ah! Yeah, but, 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 there's something you didn't know about. Think about it. What's that? My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. The murder must have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the murder had snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. Why do I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 during your shift. Alright, I think I have to get, basically. Yeah, I think we have to talk to Gumshoe, show him the card, and then we get a log. Okay. This is proof that Ron Delight was here the not the, at the crime scene when the murder happened. His wallet and this key card, huh? I think we need to add Mr. Delight some more things about those two. Okay. Sense. Hey Larry, there's something I want you to look at. Hey 
Hey, Nick, I told you I'm a pro, and you don't interrupt a pro when he's working. I don't have time to sit and chat with you, all right? Oh, you got right. Oh, <laughs> naturally, I've got time for you, though, Maya. We're going to have to squeeze this guy if we want to get more information out of him. Hard. Okay, present. Okay. Oh, did I not visit the detention center? I don't think I visited the detention center. Okay. Sounds like they're interrogating Mr. Delight right now. Man! And we don't have enough time as it is! Yeah, well, I guess the police are going crazy after... Just like we are. Yesterday they thought he was just a thief, but now they got a murder case on their hands. I guess you're right! That guy over there looks a bit on it too! Come on, we'll just have to find come back later. Okay, let's go check out some other place, Nick! Okay, anyways, I think now's a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you took around to watch this episode. You're review, and I'll be back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye!